looking at what Africa has become in the past 20 years with FOCAC, we can say that uh, it's been game changer. The whole African infrastructure landscape has been massively changed from uh, from the railway in Kenya, Mombasa, Nairobi, which will also go through Sudan and all that, to the late first electric highway, Djibouti, Ethiopia, enabling Ethiopia, a landlocked country, to have access to the sea, uh, to Nigeria, Abuja, Kaduna, uh, first infra, first city to airport railway in West Africa, and then um, the Lagos, Ibadan, Kanu, Abuja, and several others. These are all uh, these are all outcomes of uh, that engagement, that process of continual dialogue, engagement that speaks frankly to the need of both sides, to the practical need of both sides. China and African cooperation uh, created a lot of, uh, it boosted Africa's profile. At all times, China and Africa is dutifully engaged, whether at official level, whether at non-state actors level, there is always things going on between China and Africa under the focus. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the establishment of China-Africa Cooperation Forum. The forum has been uh, instrumental in forging the cooperation and uh, solidarity and uh, relationship uh, between Africa and China. And uh, many people, uh, many countries have actually benefited from this relationship. Uh, our uh, medical doctors and Chinese doctors have been able to work together via virtual media so that the Chinese doctors share the experience in tackling, in handling COVID-19, the best practices which Namibia could emulate. I mean, that's why Joshi Kwekan, Shantizong, Wanuda, Shinira, Shantibo, the Jason Hua, Hashi Alibaba, Zizondonsi, Kwe Hawidian.